Hello there guys, just thought I'd squeeze in the last video uh, of 2020 uh, Just like to see what I've managed to finish up over the last week or so And uh, yeah, I think you've seen these guys before on the workbench Just at the very early stage And these are the Perry Metal British ADCs in the Napoleonic range uh, Yeah, they're quite a straightforward paint job, not a lot of detail in which was nice, so they were, they were quite quick and I say relative, relatively easily to paint and uh, yeah, so I'll just give you a little turn around, you'll see, before I do that, sorry guys, I'll, uh, you'll notice I've mixed up the horse colours a little, I've got the, the light sort of tan colour there, a reddy brown at that side and the, the darker chocolatey brown in the middle, uh, very nice sculpts they are indeed. The guy in the middle here, he was a one piece casting. Really, yeah, as I say, very nice figures indeed. So it was nice to get these guys finished off. They've been sitting on the bench for quite some time. Yeah, yeah some more officer types to add to my British Napoleonic collection. So yeah, really, really chuffed with these guys. So, finish off your little turn around again. Yeah, so that's them guys. Uh, right, I'll move them to the side. I've got another couple of figures that are finished off as well. Just move them over that way. And we'll bring these out short. Uh, again, these guys you've seen before. Sitting on the, the workbench at the side. And these guys were just getting painted up while I was doing... Uh, the last unit of figures, which was the Highlanders. And since then, I've added another couple of miniatures here, which is uh, a Highland Colonel and a Casualty figure, which I noticed I had in my Perry's British Napoleon Casualty pack. So I've painted them up to match in with my unit of Gordon Highlanders. Just in a round MDF base. So yeah. Half the time to paint this guy since there's only one half of them to paint. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's that casualty figure there. Here's a mounted colonel. This guy comes in a pack with, I think, there's a, yeah, a pack of colonels. I can't remember the other ones that's in it. I think it's maybe just a standard infantry type, and then the. Is it a light infantry? Colonel, possibly, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, again, really nice figure. Enjoyed painting him. He didn't take too long because there was no tartan to do, no kilt to paint. So yeah, that's my Colonel for them. And then these two guys, which these are actually spare figures. I've got these in my collection already. But the last time. Uh, in fact, sorry guys, these guys, uh, these figures are War Games Foundry figures. Perry sculpts, but for War Games Foundry. Now, I did an order quite some time ago. They were doing, I think it was a sale and a free postage deal. So, there was a lot of the command packs that I had my eye on for a while. Uh, different sort of ADCs, command types. Some I've had previously, some I haven't. So, I thought I would... Just puts them all in one go, uh, and as I say, these, this guy and the other guy down there, these are ones that I've got already, which I picked off at of eBay. So I've painted them up, and these guys, I'll just pop them on to eBay actually. I don't need any more than these. Uh, and this one here, this is Marshall Davu. So it is a really nice figure. I think guys have mentioned before when they've been yeah, looking at figures and that. Right, the Perry sculpts for the foundry, they really are nice. They're slightly smaller than their own range, but and maybe slightly chunkier. But all in all, they are very nice indeed. That's Davu. And here we've got Marshal Bessery. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. I was watching <laughs> something on YouTube about Napoleon's marshals. I'm sure that's how they pronounced it, so I'll go with that. Uh, again, this is a really nice sculpt. I remember painting this first time around and really enjoying it. 
lovely figure. I think the faces as well on these sculpts are really nice. I've did him in the a sort of whitish grey hair. I'm sure I'm remembering that he used to powder his hair as well. Or it was a powdered wig or something. So I did that in that sort of whitey grey colour. So yeah, I really enjoyed painting that guy as well. So that's them guys, that's the other figures that I've done. So if I just sort of push these up and I'll bring these back into shot. And just let you see all the guys, the last figures for 2020. <clears throat> uh, I'll give you a quick little turn around over at the workbench, guys. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> I think I showed these the last time. Uh, these are the Perry Metals French Artillery, Foot Artillery Crews, the earlier period. Uh, but I'm actually painting them up as Italians to add to my Italian contingent and then about halfway through the guns I just finished off last night I'll check them again I might give them another wash just to but I'll see you they think they look okay uh, yeah so it's three crews of four I've just finished getting all the base colours on them so I'll give them a wash and then I'll start highlighting and at the back as well as I mentioned about the foundry figures which I purchased a while ago, here's four of them there and you'll see the two on the right with the green, these are going to be my Italian commander and an ADC. Uh, nice sculpts again, lovely, they really are. And uh, just the side of them, the ADC Hussar figure, I've actually did him before but I'm going to paint them up a totally different uniform and put them together with that French general sitting there so they've just had a couple of base colours on the, the Hazards just got the flesh on so these guys will be next uh, while I, I'm going to clean up some more figures soon and get them primed I'm not sure what I'm doing next but I'll have a look at that hopefully maybe today or tomorrow and that'll be something else on the, the table to do so hopefully I'll get these guys finished off within the next week, finish painting and base and everything, and uh, so that'll be it next year, I'll give you a little video of those when I get them finished off, and we'll just pan back around here, and say so we'll just finish off with a shot of the, the officers and that I've done, so as I say, the two family guys will go on eBay, and the other lot I've just added into my British Napoleonic collection, so it's always nice, to, I really do enjoy doing officer type figures and that, really do enjoy it. Uh, so yes guys, I think that's about it. Uh, watching all the videos, I'm commenting some and clicking the like button all the time basically. Uh, yeah, some really good videos out there. Enjoying it all guys. Nice to have on when I'm painting myself. Uh, and I'd just like to finish off by saying I hope everybody's had a, a nice Christmas considering the, the circumstances that we're all living under at the moment. A bit unfortunate, but yeah, I'm sure it'll get better. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to a better new year 2021. So, all the best, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year! Bye bye.